Viewer discretion is advised. Fire Emblem is infamous for its fan base, and with the series' massive cast of characters, it's no surprise that the mere mention of some of them causes every nerd within a 5 mile radius to go sicko mode. In this video, I'll be going over some of the most controversial of the bunch, whether it's because of their role as a character or their performance as a unit. Jagans are characters that join early and start out as a promoter unit. This means they have better damage output at first, but have less chances of getting level up bonuses. Because of this, some fans believe that Jagans aren't worth using and should be benched in favor of other available units. This sentiment has even become a common piece of advice that's given to newer fans. In recent years, some have started to argue against this advice and bring up how most of the available units aren't good enough to warrant the extra EXP. Furthermore, these fans have also cited the necessity of Jagans on higher difficulties, especially in specific types of playthroughs such as LTC or 0% growth. Lin was the first lord for western audiences, which has resulted in her becoming one of the series' most popular characters. However, this hasn't stopped her from receiving criticism. While there are complaints about her role in the story, the main grievance of several fans is her performance and gameplay. Lin has a high amount of speed and skill, but both her attack and her defense are low, so she's not good at dealing damage or taking it. In addition, she wields a sword in the game where both lance units and ranged units are prevalent, which puts her at a massive disadvantage. Awakening is one of the most controversial installments in the series due to many significant changes in both gameplay and writing. Sarja is probably the character that best exemplifies changes in the latter. She wears skin-tight clothing and is obsessed with the player character, which resulted in many fans labeling her as pandering. To add fuel to the fire, Sarja is one of the most popular characters in Awakening, which results in her making a lot of appearances in subsequent material, much to the chagrin of these fans. Then three years later, Intelligent Systems introduced Camilla, a character who had all the traits that made Tharja controversial, but with the added bonus of incest. The disproportionate amount of Fire Emblem characters in Smash Bros. is something that fans of the latter have complained about since Robin's debut. However, Byleth's reveal as a DLC character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was a tipping point for a lot of fans. At this point, Byleth was the 8th Fire Emblem character to be put in the game, so naturally people were a little angry. And by a little angry, I mean heavily disliking the trailer, throwing fits, and even sending death threats to the game's creator. But don't worry, Fire Emblem fans have the perfect solution. Grabbing the same image. That'll show them. Fire Emblem Heroes is a gacha game where people spend real-life money to get PNGs of anime characters. While it may raise a few eyebrows, the May 2018 bridal banner is where some players felt the game crossed the line. This event gave special wedding dress variants to three characters. The only problem was that one of the three, Sanaki, is canonically 10 years old. Naturally, many fans criticized this all for pandering to pedophiles, which sparked a heated debate on communities related to the game. I decided to end with Edelgard because this entry has spoilers for a game, so if you actually care about its plot, get the fuck out of here. Edelgard is the leader of one of the three factions you can side with in three houses. Well, actually, she's the leader of one of the four factions you can side with since she declares war in the game's church and causes a rat split. Because of her extreme actions, Aelgard is an incredibly divisive character, while she has plenty of fans and even won the Choose Your Legends ballot, she is also disliked by a significant portion of the fanbase to the point where she has been called both a communist and a fascist. There was even one popularity poll where almost a third of respondents described her as the worst character. What's my name? Dunkachino! Dunkachino! That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, especially since I'm just starting out. I plan on doing more videos about weird internet things like this, not necessarily gaming or Fire Emblem. Any support would be greatly appreciated, uh, especially if it's constructive criticism, especially with the audio, because this is my first extended audio recording session, and I hate it. If you want to see any of the footage or music I use to create the video, I'm going to put a playlist in the description and the cards thing, and you could use that. Uh, bye.